I'm telling everyone today, and the reason why I'm even here right now is the just to pretty much say how excited I am about the upcoming pizza tour. Um, and I'm I'm getting excited because first off, pizza is one of my most favorite favorite things to eat, and so I've been seeing pizza things everywhere. So I I bought a pizza pillow. Um, it's Did a you pro really? Pro pillow? Yeah, I didn't. Bring, it's I could run up and get it, but it's it's in my son's room. But it's a small little pizza pillow that you made, and you had to tie the corners. You know, you stuffed it, and you know, you made your own little pillow. Um, and then I saw uh, a pizza, pizza monopoly. Wait, but this was in the same store. You saw both yeah. of these items. Same Where, store. What's what store? This was at Five and Below, believe it or not. Five and Below, really? It's a shortened version of the Monopoly game. That's like, it. It only takes about forty-five minutes to play. And yeah, it's, I'll it's tell really, you this. Nobody yeah. has ever complained that Monopoly is not long enough of a game. You know, <laughs> nobody has ever said that. <laughs> to, to, so, so in other words, I ha I was thinking about pizza because instead of property marks, instead of like Boardwalk and Park Place, it's sausage and pepperoni. Instead of Baltic <laughs> and Mediterranean, it's mac and cheese as a topping or bacon. Uh, wow. It is ham and pineapple. There's a, just tomato. Uh, there's a peppers. There's onions. Uh, but the point is, is the whole time playing this game, I wanted to eat pizza. And... Uh, you know, I'm very, I'm very excited for it. Um, and it got me, it got me thinking about the upcoming tour. And so like we figured to answer a few questions from the Facebook page, Chris, since you are myself, uh, myself, I'm just a judge, you know, you're, you're the brains of the operation. Um, it's a judge. Yeah. Were there any good questions. Were there any good questions for uh, the board? Starting this, this kind of goes back uh, to the original pizza tour a little bit. This question, uh, Jenny asks Sorrento's. I've heard mixed reviews when I was a teenager, going back, you know, 15 or 20 years. There were several Sorrento's on the boards, no longer the case, of course. I love their chicken parm pizza, would like some true feedback. And this is interesting because back in 2005, 2006, AKA year one and two of the pizza tour, Sorrento actually won the tour. And this is the Sorrento that's uh, right by Surfside Pier. So what is that, 23rd? 24th? Yeah, is it, is it technically Sorrento too? Is that is that what the name of the place is? Or is it still just Sorrento's? It might just be it's like, Sorrento. It's Sorrent Sorrento too now. It's on 25th mm -hmm. Avenue. I'm basing it off even last year and the year before. You know, it's a, it's a good slice, uh, but I want to say, you know, um, <clears throat> it was as good as it was 14 years ago um, when, when it did when that the slices did win, because uh, I always felt that that place was uh, spectacular. When I when I went there 14 years ago, I thought they were excellent. Now eh, I'm a little more lukewarm. Uh, yeah, I mean, your your summary of that is spot on because I'm looking at the pizza tour results for Sorrento. And mm -hmm. the first six years, they ranked in the top seven, seven and below, first six years. And then in the past, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five years, they've only ranked top 10 one year. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, they've been 15, 14, 12, 16. Middle, so the, like, road. middle, middle of the road. Middle of the road. Middle low. Middle low. Uh, and, yeah. And I think it's safe to give it a try. For, for their slice of pizza and if you like how it tastes and how it goes then bring the whole family and sit down i mean the nice thing about the wildwood boardwalk as we know is that there are 20 25 pizza places within a two mile radius uh not even radius straight line um so there's plenty of options not too far away at any given time so um dylan asks can you guys do a Wildwood Best Fries tour? Um, which is an interesting question because, you know, for a while, Curly's Fries was kind of the name of the game for French fries. And then over the past, like, several years, some new fry places have opened up. You now have Chicky and Pete's on the boardwalk, which is just a Philadelphia mm -hmm. staple with their crab fries. And then you have Idaho Potato Fries. Which, are, which is my favorite. 
favorite. I, I think Idaho is my personal favorite. But Whenever we do the tour, for whatever reason, we always have, you know, in addition to the pizza tour judges, the five guys, um, we always have friends who join and tag along, girlfriends, wives now, nowadays, now that we're a little older. Um, and it always seems that the people with us on the tour, like every year, they get the Idaho potato fries, which, you know, it's become a tradition to them. That's how much they like them. I actually um, look for and I know, I actually uh, grab a wiener. I know a lot of people talk about them having good fries. I haven't personally tried those ones, but they're another kind of option on the boardwalk now. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the, the point being is that uh, there's, there's more there's fries other, than ever. Uh, so you're looking at maybe like maybe 30 to 40 French fry places, or should it be the best fries out of the Curly's, Chickies, Idaho, like a French fry place, you know, like. Yeah, kind of how like Pizza Tour focuses on true pizzerias, you know, like not a snack bar that has like a frozen pizza in the window. Like it's, it's gotta be more legitimate than that. So I yeah, maybe. What, yeah, we could do like a supplemental, like do the our normal pizza tour and then do like a little French fry corner and mention out of the, these french fry places which one's the best I, I think that's definitely within the realm of possibility we, we've talked about this in the past how that during the pizza tour like if we wanted to try to take this on on the same night somehow um on the pizza tour one of the biggest challenges for us has always been cleansing the palate and yeah. making sure that like slices don't run together like trying to you know refresh our taste buds and our minds and having french fries in the middle you know there's having a couple idaho fries in the middle maybe um as we've done for the past several years has been really helpful that way so if we added fries throughout the tour like you know just try a few um that might actually be a good palate cleanser we can make it a separate thing just go another time or it can actually be part of the tour itself Somebody asks uh, if we've ever tried Romeo's Pizza on Pacific Ave, and I can definitely say that I have, for sure. Um, I spend a lot of time in Wildwood. I'm not a resident. I live in Philadelphia, um, but spend a lot of time down there in the summers and uh, definitely had Romeo's. Romeo's is like, uh, you know, they've been there a long time, Brain. Like, I heard of them. Yeah, I never 1970, had 75, I think. And um, Where are they located? They're Pacific Avenue, and um, I think it's mentioned in here. Uh, Pacific Avenue across from the Shamrock Bar and Restaurant. Um, so they, they've been there since like the heyday of the Wildwoods, and I've had their slices. Or the, uh, I'm sorry, the heyday of Pacific Ave, like back when Pacific Ave was kind of like lots of music, the happening scene, like lines down the sidewalk kind of thing. I wish I was there for those days. Um, but uh, they've been there for a long time. I've had their slices and they are good. Um, they're open late, uh, which I really appreciate um, because there have definitely been some late nights. We've ordered delivery and Romeo's has come through, um, you know, when other places have been closed. So I uh, definitely appreciate Romeo's and uh, I definitely give them my support for sure. I don't think we would add them on the tour though because I think it'd just be practical. Oh, off board walk, yeah. We could have like a side note sort of to the French fry talk. Like you look at ALP, uh, Romeo's and, and the various ones in North Wildwood. But see, if you if you drive from essentially from Wildwood Crest to Angle C, like depending on where you start, there's just too much, too much ground to cover, um, too little time. But we can definitely maybe just mention a few off boardwalk places that we personally went to and liked. Um, yeah. try out. So if you liked Romeo's, you, we can say Romeo's. And for us, we could say, like for North Wildwood, we could say, yeah, a and LP has a good bang for your buck, and some good deals, and their pizza's pretty good. It's, you know, whatever stars that we would give it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, of all suggestions or questions or whatever about the tour, doing an off boardwalk pizza review has been one of the most common the yep and it, it's uh it's something we've definitely considered and i it's still on the table it's always on the table oh yeah we have all it. week 
we could drive we could drive the whole week we can we can visit a pizza place a day or two um one of the biggest challenges is that not everywhere serves slices um so we would be forced to buy you know a whole pie from all of these off board yeah, places there, there, which, see, that's not an issue for me but for some judges <laughs> Yeah, Some yeah, <laughs> Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not gonna name the name. I think we should do it one of these days. I agree. Maybe so. for fifteen. Maybe fifteen. We could do something special for our fifteen-year anniversary and, and 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 bring in some outsider, you know, out, out off the boardwalk pizzas and. Yeah. Now I had an idea. We bike ride from pizzeria to pizzeria, and we we do a bike tour instead of a boardwalk walking tour but we could buy those those things that go on the back of the pizza that pizza delivery boys use yes yes, yes yeah yeah right right right, right, right you right. can put a whole pizza on the back it's like a little table on the back of the yeah yeah or or maybe we just order delivery all at once <laughs> to the one to one house yes if they okay. all deliver and they should all deliver all the all boardwalk ones i'm, I'm about fairly certain they all deliver the ones that don't, we could disperse people to pick up from. That would be crazy. Can yeah. you imagine being like a delivery guy and you see like three other delivery guys pulling up to the same place at the same time? <laughs> You'd be yeah. like, what the hell? Get in line, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're just like paying delivery drivers as they're coming to the door. There's a line of them. Oh, man. Um, so well, there, there's... We enjoy pizza. And, and we do this. We do this for fun. We do this for 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 everybody that is interested in following us. We really appreciate it throughout the year. Um, and you know, this is 100% fun for us. Um, and we try to do our best. Uh, we 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 look at everything, and we we're only human. And who are we to test pizza? Well, we've just been eating a lot of pizza uh, over the past 14 <laughs> years. So you know, maybe at first. You know, we were just a couple of kids, you know, not knowing what we're doing. Now we're just a couple of adults not knowing what we're doing. So <laughs> we just do ourselves and we eat the pizza and, you know, just enjoy it. So, uh, you know, just think about that, guys, as you follow us. And, and uh, we really appreciate it. And I appreciate it. Um, and, you know, it's all, it's all for fun. But also we do try to uh, give our best educated, uh, educated opinion. And the fact that so many people became interested in knowing, well, what did you guys find out? Um, I never thought people would be interested at all. At all. And, and, and then, to have that copy, people that want to copy and go ahead and do the tour, not just with us, but with their families, with, with, uh, with a similar group of people that want to like post it too. I, I, to me, I'm super flattered. Um, you know, I couldn't be more flattered. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. We get, like, if you do this, please let us know. Like, I, I, I get emails, you know, or we get emails, like, through, like, the Facebook or yeah. Instagram, Twitter, or through our email address, like, other people who are trying out the same experiment themselves. And it's so cool. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. I'm so curious to hear what other people think. Like, you can have an opinion on a lot of the Boardwalk pizza, but until you've tried them all, you know, there, there's nothing, there's no substitute for literally trying every slice. Every, every single slice. And then come up with opinion. That's the thing, you know, go try every single slice of pizza. And then if you think, you know, if we rated a pizza so poorly, it was like last place. And then you do the same thing and you find out that slice was your favorite. Well, then that, that's legitimate. That's, that's more power to you. And like, I, I'd respect anyone's opinion on that. That's the thing. If you look at all our ratings, Chris, I think each judge is totally unique. Like we have a totally different taste. And I, and I like that. It's not on purpose. Like we no. don't share, we, when we're doing the pizza tour, we're not sharing our ratings with each other and we record them confidentially. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes we make comments after we've recorded our, our answer. You can look at each of us and you can say, well, I disagree with, them and then you can look at the judge who rated max the lowest even if it was only a half percent or half a point and then find his top slice like find my let's just say i rated it low you can find my top slice usually it's in the top five and say oh he rated number four better than max because he thought max wasn't as good as number four and then that might work for you 
So, you know, just remember it's an average of all the scores across the table. So um, what might be a middle of the road slice for us might be an excellent slice for you and might be an excellent slice for one of the judges. It's just not the five of us kind of come to a general consensus on that slice. So, you know, that's, that's what you said before about trying every slice and just seeing what happens, you know? Yeah. And, and we've actually tried to, um, we've tried to address the fact that like each judge or each reviewer sometimes has like very different opinions on things. So we've actually started listing in our results the most controversial slice, which I really yeah. like this as a category. Cause mm -hmm. like, like sometimes, you know, one reviewer gives a slice like a two or a 1.5, but then another reviewer also on that same slice gives it a five or a four. And you're like, this is so confusing. Mm -hmm. um, so we've started to actually list that as the most controversial slice. Uh, you know, the slice that has the most variance in opinion. So, and I think that's always a very interesting category. And if I was somebody who was just looking at the results, I'd be very curious to try that slice. It was, what was the most controversial slice this year? Do you recall? Uh, okay, was it, was, it was, it was, this is, this is funny. This, it was Sorrento and Hotspot 4 were tied. Um, that's incredible. Yeah, so... One reviewer gave Hotspot a 0.5, while another gave it a 3.5. I don't list who gave what review, but... Yeah, yeah. And then Sorrento, somebody gave it 2, and somebody gave it a 5. The highest rating possible. That's incredible. Five. Slightly below average to the best slice. And, and you know, hey, listen, it's, that's, how, that's how different... And, and you, you know, the audience... Um, and just anyone in general, when you go out to eat with someone, usually you get these kind of variances where you can order the same thing or you share food and one person absolutely loves it. And the other person says, heck no. Um, you know, so it's pretty impressive to see this even with like pizza, which is just really what five main ingredients. And I mean, down the shore also, let's, let's not forget like the weather is so crazy sometimes down there. Like the humidity can totally affect, you know, just how much the the dough rises and things like that. And, and the cheese too. It can bring out the moisture in the cheese. Yeah. Dry it and, and it, it it doesn't really it gets, you know, clumpy kinda and you're it looks like you're biting into like something more solid than it should be. <laughs> right. that's melted. But but really in reality that's why I guarantee you, if we did the pizza tour two consecutive days in a row, we would have two different winners. I'm that confident that it can not may, it may not vary all that much. Uh, I think the top pizza slices would be there, uh, but I think small things such as temperature and everything like that, how it's served, if they see us with their shirts on, all these variables, I think, can change in just the score, you know, up and down a little bit. That's why I think if we did it. You know, I always wanted to do it three days in a row and see <laughs> and see who had the highest score for those three days. But I don't think three days. Be five. I think our three, day. <laughs> three day tour, three and, days in a row, and we'd be like fifty pounds heavier <laughs> at the end of the third day. <laughs> I, I, I don't think my heart could take it. To be honest, with we'd you. be we'd be a lot slower finishing the tour. <laughs> the third end of the third day. <laughs> Add an hour to each day, you know, two hour, yeah. two extra hours at the end. But you know, and um, and I, I think this is actually a great segue to mentioning just how we do our best to just emulate, like, simulate being a, a normal customer on the boardwalk. Like we, when we're getting our slices, oftentimes we're sending up somebody not affiliated with the pizza tour, like not recognizable, like somebody in our group who the pizzeria will not recognize um, to get the slice. We like, we really try not to get special treatment from pizzerias. Like we don't, we don't want them to make a special pie, just a fresh pie for us. You know, that's, that's kind of not fair. Um, like we want to get the slice that anybody just who happened to be walking up would get. And uh, that's, that's part of like, 
just what we do to try to keep this as unbiased as possible. So sometimes we do get a fresh pie just by chance. Sometimes we get a pie that's been sitting there a while. We do it a Friday night, typically. So typically pizza's, always the pizza's, pizza's moving. So um, that hopefully eliminates that a little bit. But, you know, it, it, it's like we try to really go under the radar anytime, any way we can. When we get the pizza, I mean... I must say, you know, our little news uh, clip pretty nice, you know, <laughs> to be able to try Douglas Fudge and, and kind of what they had to offer this past year and, and make the trip down. But absolutely. Yeah, let, let's, let, let's, that, that, let's, that's let's, all. <laughs> let's, let's talk about that for a minute. So this, uh, the past couple of years, actually, we've been lucky enough for PHL 17 news station in Philly. Um, to contact us about doing a morning interview. And it's been a really crazy experience to get to, to do that. It's, it's been my first like real time being interviewed on the news. So uh, it definitely a little nerve wracking and we've been on like at the crack of dawn. So like, um, like what, 5.30, 5.15 and 5.30, we did two segments in 2018. Mm. Then we did a, like a six or six thirty segment in 2019. Um, that's been really crazy, right? Like, how would you describe that experience, Brian? I I just think it's it, what they're doing um, is kind of what our mission was, kind of like being on the news and just explaining kind of what we do and how how fun it is um, is exactly is exactly why we do what we do, like what. Hey, let's have these guys come on. They're they're a staple of Iowa. They come down and they love pizza. I think that they themselves, you know, for me it's like an honor because they pretty much, you know, WPHL and then whoever else, kind of speaks our wavelength. And I think that's it, to me it's 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 an honor and it's something that I'd be more than happy to do it again. I drive I drive three a.m. Uh, if I had yeah. to. Well, well, yeah. I did. well, you have. Yeah, well, you've have. done it the past two years. Yeah, I have. And, and it's because, you know, what the questions they ask are exactly the questions that I would ask myself. <laughs> and, you, know, so, you know what I mean? Like there was, there hasn't been ever, uh, th there are the questions that I would want to hear myself. And they're pretty much, if, even if it was the same questions every year, um, just slightly different. I think um, it's exactly the reason why I'm on there um, is not, not to be on the news, but for, for people that want to know about pizza, those specific questions. Um, I, but I think it was nice getting free fudge. It was nice getting free fudge. I'll, I'll put it that way. The last time we were on PHL 17, yeah, Douglas Fudge was also on at the same segment as we were. So we got to try their pumpkin fudge and their birthday cake fudge because they were turning, what, 100? There's like 100. Douglas Fudge is like one of the oldest uh, businesses on the boardwalk, if not the oldest. And yeah, they were celebrating their birthday with birthday fudge, and it was so good. Brian, you took like a whole pizza box full of fudge. Out. <laughs> yes, we the pizza that we ate on air, whatever leftover space there was in the box, I, I loaded with fudge. So I, yeah, I you know. So yeah, Matt, Matt, we we bought we got a slight we got a pie of max because they were the winner of the 2019 tour I, I went up and bought it the night before the interview and you know a few hours later we woke up and ate it on air and uh the, yeah the space that was vacated you filled with fudge and you took that whole box home i let you guys have what you wanted first uh, to be fair to be right i had you have your fill and, and our other guests that we were with uh, she had her fill and then i just took the rest and and, and I, news, the news anchor have his fill. I did what any normal stand-up citizen would do and offered to take the rest of them. You know, I'm pretty sure you were like, okay, you guys are all done with this, right? And you were, you were closing the box. <laughs> you were like, no, wait, 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 wait. The details, the details, you know, it was a long time ago. It was, it was, <laughs> it was so early in the morning, yeah. <laughs> it was early in the morning. It was before our coffee. I, You know, I... <laughs> I believe I left my coffee. I, I spilled my coffee this year. Last year I left it two blocks down the uh, down the way and lost it. So I, I haven't had good luck with coffee on those days. I, d I do remember catching the sunrise though, and then mm -hmm. us both like hopping in the car and like 
driving to work. <laughs> AC Expressway back home to Philly, where we both had work. Um, yeah. So it, it's, it, it's a yeah. crazy experience. It's, it's really cool, though. The the PHL 17 guys have been so nice and uh, and friendly to work with. So Kyrie and then Jason at Douglas Fudge was so cool. Um, so and, and also Jason by the Sea. Uh, 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 Jason Lee, Lee, yeah, Lee, yeah. Lee by the Sea. He's been he's been. Uh, he's the real deal. Yeah. Really appreciate him. They've, they've all been great. So we've been lucky to do that. Our next video conference, we'll definitely get into how the coronavirus will affect our pizza tour, if it affects our pizza tour. Um, yeah, sure. a, lot of, a lot of questions <laughs> about, you know, how that's going to affect the Wildwoods, like opening dates. Um, we, we got a lot of questions about, like, is Max Pizza still going to open? you know, in April when they said they would and when's the boardwalk opening and there's really just no way to tell. Um, so I think we'll know a lot more, hopefully. In By next... Memorial Day. Yeah, no, we're going to get through this. So the important thing is we're going to get through this. We're going to get, uh, you know, to the other side. Summer days, as we know them, will return. Um, you know, so we All just right. got to just gotta get there. Sounds like a plan. Um, but yeah, um, we should mention, you know, like, just keep the questions coming. Like, uh, we, we want to continue kind of doing this uh, Q&A and, and, like, just random fun discussion stuff, talking about the Wildwoods, anything Wildwood table. Like, like we can talk anything, Brian. Like, we're, we're Wildwood enthusiasts. So, like, we can talk desserts. We can talk rides. Put rides. Yes. How they disassembled the sea serpent and put it back. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, they're retracking it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can talk rides. We can talk Wildwood history. We can talk uh, favorite places to go for Mexican or for dessert or for Italian or what. Your closest movie theater, because I think you had trouble with that, you know? So um, Movies yeah. have been a big issue this past, like, year or so. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's been, it's been crazy. Um, yeah. So we can talk anything of that. Uh, like along those lines so um, any questions any discussion points anything anything we're up for really so please let us know if you have any questions Facebook Instagram Twitter through our website email whatever um, uh, just let us know and hope you enjoyed this and uh, it's been a lot of fun Brian like I'm glad we get to to do this you know, I'm glad we have the technology. I, I, I enjoy every minute of it. And I hope everyone, I enjoyed it almost as much as I enjoy pizza. I had pizza for dinner today to prep for this. Did uh, you? <laughs> I did. I had frozen pizza. I'm not necessarily proud of that, but. You I gotta do. Desperate times. Desperate times, you know, I want to stay in. I don't want to order too much these days, so. Brian, on this past pizza tour, on the video, you were, you have you went on the record saying if you had to choose between Thanksgiving dinner and the pizza tour, you would choose the pizza tour. Do you still stand by that, that, I question, say that, that listen, answer? I say that, I say that, but I also am one of those people that believes that if it's... <laughs> All right. I don't think you should have pizza on Thanksgiving. I don't think you should have pizza on Thanksgiving. That, that, that cannot have been me quoting that. It's better than Thanksgiving dinner, but it should not replace Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I fair think enough. Fair enough, all right? Because I don't think Thanksgiving Day you should have uh, pizza for dinner. You should have pizza for lunch. Um, and pizza <laughs> for dessert. But you should still sit down and have the turkey dinner for Thanksgiving. Um, but yes, I'm, that, I get passionate about that. It's better than Thanksgiving dinner, but it should not replace it. There we go. That's the American answer, right? I'm glad you got a chance to clarify that point because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I think a lot of people, you know, were not, you know, raised eyebrows when you did, brought that up. I, 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 am, I saw the error of my ways and it should definitely not replace Thanksgiving dinner. I will, uh, let's put it that way. That was on the, that was on the radio not too long ago and I, I agree. <laughs> oh man, thanks so much, Brian. This was uh, abundantly fun. All right. So, all right. Well, signing off. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.